getting at the open. <laughs> 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 yeah. Welcome to another Sketchbook Hero Summer Special. Special, special, special. With me, Ilias. And me, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hey, folks. Welcome back. Uh, there are no how do you do's today. We're diving straight into the impact. The that is dub, the dub, dub. Yeah. yeah, the yeah, that, that thing. Dubstep. The dubstep <laughs> impact. Dubstep impact. <laughs> Double impact. <laughs> yeah, with that said, intro song, go! God damn it, go! <laughs> Wait. Artists of the world unite. Step out of your comfort zone. Into... The Danger Zone. And we're back. Feel the hype. So sorry for that, but we have been dragging this out for we're on the hours. Schedule. Yeah. So <laughs> we, yeah, we gotta, we gotta get this. So yeah, let's Today. get it started. Let's get, get it started in here. Let's Shot get it started. Yeah, no, that's no. Oh. Yeah. So we decided <laughs> to go back to our roots and watch some of the movies that made us. Yeah. Huh? Actually, yeah. Yeah. And. One of those movies is Double Impact, starring Double Van Damme. Double. Double the trouble. Double exactly. the muscle. Double everything except Double kills. the moose knuckle. Exactly. But kind of minus, double minus the, the, the acting. Yeah. <laughs> Twice. Twice as good, but... <laughs> Twice as bad? Quadruple bad. <laughs> yeah, it's so bad. <laughs> no. But it actually so wasn't. Yeah. No, no, it was so good. Like, I was surprised how much it held up. Because uh, a lot of these movies, you know, you go back and you're like, you ruined my childhood. <laughs> yeah. Most of them, actually. Most of them, yeah. yeah. But this one was surprisingly good. Yeah. I'm actually happy I own it on Blu-ray. Not that I've watched it lately, but... Uh, yeah, but that's a good thing. Now I just feel it. like I'm, I'm proud. Dude, I don't <laughs> remember the last time I saw Double Impact oh, on same. anything. I know I've seen it in, like, the last... Five years. Okay, or well so? that's different for me because I haven't seen it in like a lot of movies are getting into their like twenty years ago. Yeah, I know. Kind of. I know. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of horrible. Mm -hmm. uh, but today was special because we actually we took upon us a challenge. I guess. Yeah, the Matthias. The Matthias. Yeah. The Matthias challenge. That uh, well, we didn't fail it. We just. Didn't do it. Didn't do it because it, the the the, <laughs> it the, the link that Matthias sent us sucked. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <yeah. laughs> and no. we're there. No, yeah. but seriously, <laughs> double impact. Yes, this movie is, you know, like some parts of it have haven't like, you know, like it's aged. from ninety one. Yeah, okay, from nineteen ninety one. Most of the people listening to this podcast, I don't think they can count that high. Uh, yeah, but, no, but it's... <laughs> so this movie has a couple of scenes that are not politically correct at all. Yeah. Which is to be expected of this genre, I guess. Any if, Van Damme movie. Or any really. Van Damme movie, yeah. yeah. But it wasn't that bad, to no, be honest. No, 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 no. It, it, it has a few of them, like, yeah. compared to some of them that have a lot, a lot of, of these. Them. Yes. Yeah, yes. A lot of these, like... Misses, <laughs> <laughs> or are they? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, but yeah, uh, no. I would, I would argue that this is probably one of the best Van Damme movies, like in the the yeah. action genre. Genre, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the JCVD. No, no, no. Exactly. When he actually learned to act and stop fighting, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and stop fighting. Yeah, 
So this, I think this, and this was a level up for him in terms of a paycheck, yeah. in terms of uh, fandom, just, yeah. just like the amount of like but fame what, that he got. Had he only done Bloodsport prior? Prior. And then Lionheart after this? I don't know, like Kickboxer maybe? Why yeah, when did that come out? Yeah, I have no idea. Bloodsport like, and Kickboxer feel like the same type that's movie what I, almost? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because uh, I think when the quest came out, like then he had already, you know, like he'd done he, a he lot was, of movie and, and cocaine. Th- yeah, and yeah. cocaine. And yeah. I think he directed that one. Yeah, as well, he did. Right? He wrote it. Like, he directed okay, it. Okay, yeah, and it. starred in it. So he's basically Mortal Kombat. Yeah, the, the quest <laughs> and cocaine did and cocaine so much cocaine combat so much so much of cocaine <laughs> cocaine combat and that was and I don't know what accent that was. It's Van Damme. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I love how the brothers in this movie. So they are the 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 twins of politicians. Like they, they had babies. The parents got killed in this sort of like the triads got involved and killed them. Yeah, let's just keep it simple. And they got split. Like in Split that up. in that yeah, chaos in that, when their parents yeah. got murdered yeah. or assassinated. The dad's bodyguard took one kid and, and the, the nanny, nanny took, took the other one. Yeah. One grew up in Hong Kong in a French yeah, speaking French speaking orphanage, orphanage. Of course. And the other one grew up in France and then and then to lived to in California. Los Angeles, California or yeah. something. Yeah, I don't remember. Uh, not important. The best thing is they both have Belgian accents. Yeah, they do. Uh, <laughs> Which is great. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I got to give them that, like, the characters, like, the one, one is called Chad and one is called Alex. And they are distinctly different. And they do this super well. Yeah. I was so fucking surprised. Really, really well. That they could keep the characters apart. Yeah. Like, they never felt like they, like, oh, now, now it just feels like a Van Damme character. You know what I mean? Like, exactly. They felt distinctly different all the time. Yeah. Even when, because there's one scene when uh, Chad is playing Alex. Alex, yeah. So he's the, like, one of them is a bit tougher and one of them is a bit more of, like, a spoiled sort of... Brat. Brat, yeah. 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 And the brat plays the, the badass. The badass, kind. yeah. But you can still tell that it is You read Chad. it as Chad, yeah. It's, and he is, he is a Chad. Like, no, he's such, <laughs> he's a, Chad, such yeah. a Chad. But it's... That is impressive. Like uh, no, we I have was, to yeah. give him that Cause because he sucked. Like there are some scenes that require some acting, and it yeah. sucks. Yeah, but keeping the characters apart is so good. <laughs> That's the thing. Like that. Yeah. That sort of takes away all of the bad yeah. because you're just focusing in on looking at the two dams. Yeah, <laughs> and you're like. God damn. <laughs> and the split screen that they do is so good. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. think the only times where it sucks is when they actually use a green screen. Yeah, when they overlap each other. Yeah, when they're in the same, I guess, yeah. When they're close of, to each other, it's yeah. so bad. You can really see the card- cardboard cut out kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the white, like, sort of outlining. Yeah. yeah. Or like the... It's just so overly obvious. I don't mm. know if it was something that you would notice back in the day. No, I don't think I ever thought about them being like Probably that. Probably not. Yeah, no. But but now because no uh, one talked about green screens and shit like that. I don't we know. We didn't know what that was. No. Like, yeah. 91. Like yeah. how old were we even? We were 5, 6, 7. Yeah, it's yeah, it's early. It's like first, second grade, third. So 91, we were 7. Seven, yeah. yeah. So that we is. we must have been seven or eight when we saw this, mm-hmm. which is good for morale. Or, yeah, or growth. I rented this movie yeah. a lot. Yeah. I think I even drew the cover. Actually, that we talked about. Like, does this tie into drawing? I drew the cover. Of course it did. No, I mean, I drew the cover. All it of was these... garbage. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I drew the cover. I remember that because that was all you could like. You couldn't get extra stuff from the movies. No. You had the cover, yeah. like back and front. Yeah, that's that's all you. And had. I remember drawing it and having problems with the gun 
<laughs> of course. As if the rest was good. But I had problems with the gun. But seriously, when I think about it now, every time I've drawn a person holding a gun, yeah. it is kind of like the any yeah, any yeah. Jean Claude Van Damme cover. <laughs> but it's so clear. Yeah, you know, like it's just it, like gigantic posing, bicep yeah. and just this big gun, and he's yeah. looking really dramatic. It, like, it's a little like the cover for our fan, or like not fan movie, but our own little <laughs> battle chasers. Battle chasers. <laughs> yes, the movie that never was. We should do a Kickstarter. We, we should, should do We should really do it. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to do that movie. Uh, I would love to write that movie, actually. That'd be fun. That would be fun. Yeah. I remember a lot of the plot, like, you know, ish. I mean, it was vaguely, I guess, inspired by Dude, Double Impact. It sure was. Because, I mean, we were brothers. Yeah. And, and but we were, this was more like adopted a... Adopted. Buddy Thief movie. <laughs> was this, did we, did we use the premise for that movie to pick up those chicks? Don't when we were doing nah. that, that party. No, Remember no, that? that was, we were from the States. That yeah. was different. Oh, yeah. yeah. No. No. Let's never talk about that <laughs> ever, ever again. <laughs> yes. Let's put that back in that vault. In the, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> never heard. Let's put it in there. Anything. What are you talking about? I don't know what you're saying. Yeah, I don't what? Know. Picking up what? Uh, so you were saying about drawing and stuff? Drawing and stuff, yeah, yes. Yeah. I did draw the cover now because I, I thought about it because we joked about it. I've never drawn Van Damme, so yeah, it doesn't I'm, apply to, you know, this. I definitely have not drawn a Van Damme. But portrait. I have now drawn that's a mission. that. Yeah. Um, and yeah, like how would you say these movies have impacted you? Because like even if they weren't related to drawing, they've had a big impact, you know, like, oh, but shit. But I mean, you it, were at that age, you were really... Like mold, yeah, impressionable, moldable. So seeing these two, one was a very flamboyant character and one mm. very masculine, like testosterone badass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're both the muscles from Brussels. So mm. I guess like growing up and seeing that it's okay to be either, mm. I I guess is kind of a good message. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, in, no, no, in terms no, think... of being like. Oh, okay, like and the, I can be... uh, one is a bit more feminine in the way that he does things, you know, yeah. and, and dresses like you said, flamboyant, and he has he has everything from like if you've ever seen the the Call on Me music video, <laughs> he wears basically that, all, all you know, like all yeah. of it. He's he even has like a moose knuckle visible clearly, oh, yeah. yeah, and a lot of shots of his ass, yeah, both sp standing spandex, and in splits, sp spandex, and <laughs> oh, the whole yeah, everything. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, so watching a movie like this, obviously at that age, it was just like pure action. Mm -hmm. You didn't think Not about any of that. Any of the other. Like, and of course, it was always more Alex because he was the badass with the cigar and the leather jacket and like the back slick. And he already had the girl. And he looked like the fucking Punisher, basically. Yeah, more or less. Uh, but then getting that fun other twin. Yeah, I don't know. It just. I mm. I guess it kind of probably made an impression that it was mm. plus like the flamboyant twin, I guess, got more attention from the girlfriend as well. Mm. Like she kind of automatically just turned to him a little bit more, talked to him more. So in a way, it's, it's really weird. But thinking of it now, mm. it was a good message that mm. it's okay to be like flamboyant and, you know, you don't have to be this badass dude you don't have to smoke cigars and wear leather jackets yeah and and i guess in this same movie there's a guy that wears a leather jacket and sunglasses wrong yeah the long-haired dude in the back oh yeah but he, he gets kicked <laughs> in the face later yeah several does. times just for his fashion <laughs> i think but throwing it back to you then like do you can you i mean honestly it was so long ago the first time dude, we saw this yeah, but yeah, yeah. like just talking about it, is there something that comes to mind that you think of? I don't know. Like, all these movies, like, I remember them fondly. And we saw all of them, like, in a big chunk as well. Like, yeah, But you kept re-watching them. That, that's, I think, what stays But there stays were so many me. of Dude, this type of movie. I know. You know. But there are, you know, like, some of them stick out. Like, yeah. you remember those ninja movies with the camo shit? Oh, yeah. I don't remember any of those. No, but you remember the camo shit. Yeah, like, I remember the, the camo. camo. The, yeah, but yeah. I don't remember any of the plots. Of but course But this not. movie, I, like, scene by scene. Yeah, you, you can even quote you it. You can fucking quote it. You can Send the jacket. Send the jacket, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but it's just, like... 
even if it actually just sucks as in like the acting sucks it's not great acting but the movie holds like it still holds up you know like i don't yeah. know like i enjoyed everything about it yeah and, and i think i the thing is, nostalgia kind of ties into a lot of these movies. Yeah, but I, to be honest, I didn't feel a lot of nostalgia watching it now. It was more like uh, a rewatch of mm. just a movie. I didn't get that, like, I don't know. Sometimes you get that really intense nostalgia feeling mm. where you just get brought back to your childhood. Mm. With this, it was just a good time hanging with you and watching this movie mm. because, I mean, it's it's stupid in so many ways. Oh, it's so stupid. But just perfect. Like, I wouldn't change, well, maybe a few things, but I wouldn't change a lot in this movie because nah, it, it is kind of this perfect little What thing. I like about these movies as well, like with everything wrong and right about them, um, is that they are a timestamp, yeah. you know, of the time Definitely. that was, you know, like the it, 90s. It, like yeah. that was the start of the 90s. And, and Clothing and the way you were, like yeah, yeah, even yeah, those two different characters. Yeah. It's like one is more back uh, or like back in the day, and mm. one is more the future. Mm. It, oh yeah, like, yeah, yeah. We're trying like, to yeah. like I'm, that I'm, is true. I'm spacing out here, but like really trying to. Uh, think about <laughs> everything about this movie mm. but you know it's it's really interesting when you break it down that way and like also I, that uh, Juliet Lewis's father yeah is I didn't know he was <laughs> like the, the, the Uncle Frankie something I don't remember Lewis. something Hen Lewis Henry Lewis was that it something yeah, yeah. yeah. just look immediately up the recognizable you yeah, have, as soon you as have you seen hear, this man yeah. many a times depends on how young you are though yeah look. <laughs> but I mean he's he's got this recognizable face and then mm. yeah as soon as they they said they said it yeah that he was the father it was like of course in real life that is yeah it, yeah yeah <laughs> but Juliet Lewis's dad in Double Impact I mean yeah I think. If anything, that was the best takeaway from the movie. That was the best takeaway, <laughs> of, course, of course, of uh, course. <laughs> because the, there are a lot of, like, I, I, I thought that the music in this movie was shit. Like, the suspense was off in the music, and it never tied into the action in a way where I felt like, oh, shit. It didn't bother me at all. Like, yeah, yeah. I, it started off bad with the really quiet scenes. Mm -hmm. I guess they were trying for something there, and it failed for me. Yeah. Uh, because it just felt like the, the, the sound, like the the ambient sound disappeared as well, you know, like it was no sound, yeah. which is weird. It like did you feel a bit rushed in the yeah, the beginning editing, of the yeah. movie too, like with the whole parents getting mm, murdered yeah. and all that. It was very rushed. You didn't get to really yeah. build any uh, connection or anything with the parents. Mm. Uh, the mother maybe because she picked up one of the kids at one yeah. point. That was it. Yeah, and yeah, then, yeah. then they're dead. Oh, uh, man. Uh, something that, like, how this movie, if, if we're going to go creatively with this. Go. Is that, like, practical effects, really good. Yes. Like, very, for, very, very and, good. Surprisingly good, actually. And Bolo Young, one of the sort of, like, the right-hand hand dudes in the bad guy. You know, Most the of uh, the movies of, yeah, like, but 80s, dude, and 80s and 90s. And but Bolo Young is so fucking badass. Yeah, in this he movie says in particular. nothing. He does, like, a <laughs> at some point. That's it. That's, That's his... And then he waves his hand, like, calm down, and then, like, you and me fight to the death, basically. Yeah. And it, it just works so well. So fucking good. But just the practical effects and the lens that he uses for, and the scar on his yeah. cheek, like, it's all so good. Yeah. All of it. Yeah, really, really good. And such a badass mm -hmm. character. And so underutilized in the fighting, you yeah. know, like, with yeah. the, like, he has a couple of things that he does, but so underutilized in this movie because he's so badass. Like, yeah. He, he, he fits as this, like, if we take Chad, the softer brother, uh, like, it's such a perfect character to, for him to kind of, you know, fight Face. and everything. Yeah. 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 And I, I guess what this movie kind of brought to me personally, I guess, in the future is, like, sure, it isn't the best storytelling, but it, there's something there. I've always been fascinated with, you know, like, the, like writing good like fighting, f like choreography wise, and also just like there's nothing 
that I hate more nowadays than badly written action movies, you know, where the plot doesn't hold up. Yeah. But the action is good. Like when I was a kid, that was fine. But now as I've grown up, like I need the plot to kind of be intact. You know what I mean? Like yeah. there can't be too many weird things that happen because then I'm just, I just get annoyed. Yeah. Like, and, and I feel that Double Impact did a pretty okay job of holding it all together. You know, there's like some odd things like we got to get rid of the boat. I was, cause, cause the bad guys flew like they like they found their island with, yeah without the help of the without boat, even really. trying yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and then they was like we got to get rid of the boat i was like but they already found your island so what yeah. does the boat like why why do you waste time with the so boat so you're going to get rid of the one thing that can help you, you get off, off the, the island? island yeah it's so like, weird and didn't make any how sense. did they get off the island later like huh oh they didn't they swam they yeah, swam they yeah. swam uh, but otherwise, like, I think the movie holds up pretty good. I think the only thing that I was missing is the whole, like, what was the relevance of the tunnel and the, yeah. their parents and the legacy and, yeah, like, yeah, the yeah. big... None of that got concluded. It just, we got... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how the movie ends, by the way. Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> just just go watch it. Go watch it. Go watch no, it. No, you don't need the... No. the like, it, it's a good watch. Exactly. Watch it with friends. But I think, if anything, that I would change if they remade it now, that would be something I would have wanted to know more about. Like, mm. what was the relevance of this tunnel that the parents built? Yeah. Uh, what was the legacy that was left on the kids? Yeah, and like why they could that, inherit or, like, yeah, they what, could claim. what was the big deal yeah. there? And then they just immediately go in to kill all of these guys yeah. <laughs> without knowing anything but they, they, they killed the he parents. doesn't deserve they killed the parents, Robert. I guess. he yeah. deserves a 12 gauge shotgun to the head or something with justice exactly and there are some very questionable acting on the female side on, on every side but 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 the love interest she got frisked Dilius. <laughs> she got frisked yeah there's <laughs> yeah she there's a lot of overreacting frisked. and this isn't yeah. like i feel like the directing here was Perfect. Very vague. <laughs> <laughs> like the actors didn't know what, you know, like yeah. they were supposed to do. So they did something. And, and I think that shows. was the direction. Yeah. Do uh, something just here. do something. What happened? He frisked you. Like, or she frisked you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and that was it. Sorry. <laughs> no, but, but, but it feels a lot of times like they weren't given like enough context yeah. for what they were doing. She's like, what am I doing? He's like, she frisked you. Like, okay. Oh, no. Frisking is bad. Uh, you know. Yeah. I think this, the actress that played that character yeah. doesn't really know what being frisked actually means. <laughs> I don't know. So the actor, <laughs> oh, the director just told her, oh, you were just frisked. She's like, oh, no. Not frisked. What? Oh, my God. Yeah, but or, it's such yeah. a weird scene. In, it is. Because it feels like what they're saying is that she got like I don't know, like, but fucked. No, but it feels like she, like the 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 other lady that frisked her did something really bad, and there are some reactions and stuff that you get to see that yeah. make no sense. Like it what? Is, it's, it's it's not okay. Like, it's not they, okay in any way, really, but it's unclear, and it's you know the the nineties. I mean, uh, you could also take it as a compliment, I guess. Oh I no! Right. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> It but was the it, 90s. It, 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 it's know? such a weird scene, all in yeah, all. And just, the acting kind of just supports whatever the fuck is happening <laughs> in a bad way. Yeah. No, yeah. I don't know. So like, there's those small little things that you could nitpick and really go like, oh, come on. You could have done that better. Yeah. But maybe they were on a schedule. But I like, think that yeah. was it. Because we, we tried watching some interviews around this movie where there are very boring ones. Yeah. Even the director himself... Whatever his name was, I've already forgotten because yeah, he was same. so boring to watch. Yes. Like, you, you'll you never hear someone talk so boringly about his own movie that you die inside. Like, it was so boring to hear him talk about his own movie. Yep. And the one that launched his career, basically. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. the biggest movie he's ever done. Like His at the first time. big movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, it was so unexcitingly retold. 
Uh, I think we got some info from Van Dam, Van the Van Dam interview where he talks about the struggles of the movie. Yeah, but I was so like uh, distracted by, by the, the vest. Old... Oh that he was shit! Wearing, yeah, it was so, so weird. I couldn't really. <laughs> and again, that was Focus. also a very slow interview. You yeah. know, like very it boring. Didn't, it didn't feel like he wanted to be there. No. And, like yeah, I don't know. He was in Tejas. Yeah, Te- Tejas. Tejas, and yeah, it sucked. He yeah. was. Interviewed by, uh, yeah, I don't know. It was all boring. It was just boring. It was uh, who cares? Yeah. Uh, but but it, there was a challenge, and because he had to, you know, like okay, I've I've done this part now. I have to change, you know, and become the other Van Dam, <laughs> and stand on the other side and do the same or the reaction to what just happened and body doubles and switch places and, and take split again. screens and this, yeah, yeah all of it. it was a lot of work. So I think a lot of the 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 weird things that happen during the movie is also due to kind of the budget, you know, yeah, because like, like and, it had only fifteen million, yeah, <laughs> twenty, uh, was it twenty million? Yeah, it changed. It was, then, it was two million from uh, uh, Bloodsport, I guess, and then twenty million for this one. Oh, okay. But okay. I think or twenty million. I think eighteen million was the number that Joe Blow said. So, I thought he said 15. I don't know. Uh, it doesn't yeah. matter. Somewhere around the, the, yeah. that ballpark. So it was quite a substantial amount of money still. Yeah. And then it made 80-ish. Yeah, it made... No, no, no. It made... Like, like in, in just total. domestically, it made... Like in Europe, I think it made... Or like... It like was it 50 was million... Uh, domestically? Uh, or worldwide. Or? And uh, 30... Like it made uh, 90 domestic. in total, I think. Okay. Yeah, 90 in total. So that might... Let's like do an even sense. hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah whatever. Uh, <laughs> not that's not even counting the VHS or DVD and all of that stuff. Like I'm yeah. sure it's it's like big numbers now. Yeah, because, but, but I love watching these movies though. Like even now, like even if they have these like really bad you know parts in them, uh, they're really really fun to watch. Yeah. And is and it is the reason why I want to do you know create things. Yeah, like it doesn't matter if it's a drawing, photography like video, like whatever it is, that's what got me into it, you know. Exactly. And and also the fact that I guess back then you could just make a movie and not really think about anybody being butthurt in any way. You just mm. make a movie and then if somebody didn't like it, they just didn't watch it. Yeah. And that was, that was I it. Guess, but, but that's you know, again it like... It was a simpler time. People didn't have a voice in the way that they do today. Mm. Uh, but in a way that sort of just makes it good and bad. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and you just, you know, you take it for what it is. But well, you know yeah. what I like about that era though? Like, like the ninja era where like people were making these ninja movies Yeah, that it went like it came like it, the, the couple of the clips that we watch is how like the ninja boom or whatever you want to call it, it, it came out of like, it left Hollywood and just normal people started making these feature films that, you know, just have this like weird following and, you know, they didn't never caught, I guess, popularity like they would today, but people made fucking full length ninja movies. Yeah. That was fucking insane. Why don't they do that today and go like 200 mil? Let's make this <laughs> epic ninja. Uh, I don't know. Trilogy saga like yeah. uh, what was it called uh, over the nightingale the nightingale oh thing. yeah the nightingale floor thingy yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah, that's the... such a great big Shit. epic saga o... 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 otori otori that's yeah. the one yeah otori the, 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 yeah. that those books are really nice yeah um like something like that like yeah, a that real epic but ninja I f- but type i thing. feel like that would suck like yeah, but I, I, I mean, feel like it's it's gonna fall into the same like, you know. But I mean, Harry Potter could have really sucked, but then they gave it to the right people and gave it the right time yeah, I think and the, money. The only one I hate is the first one. Yeah, it because it's feels, so childish. Yeah, but and then, then it, it just and the further along, the better. You know? Oh, so much better. Yeah, yeah. and so, and and the CGI still kind of holds up most of the time. Yeah, it's some like it's. Yeah, you can see like the oh, you can the, sure. the the troll in the first movie, for example. No, but that one like, never held up. No, like I hated it. It's a it. cartoon. Yeah, yeah, it's so bad. But I mean, 
if you give it to the right people mm. with the right care and love and money and mm. everything that it needs, you could really make a cool ninja epic because no, dude, ninjas are always going to be awesome. Yeah. Like, just look at the turtles. Like, TMNT is still going strong even after 30, almost 40 years now. Yeah. It's insane. Like, it's it's never going to die out. It's always going to be really yeah. cool. Look at the, the coolest characters in video games are, like, ninja-inspired. So why is it so difficult to make a really cool ninja saga? Yeah. That's our mission, man. That's because, I, I don't know, like, it it feels like they always fall for the same. Like, like all the ninja movies that are made, you know, in Hollywood at least, they always... F- like, they're the same. You know what I mean? Like, it feels like it's... Like, even if it's different directors, it feels like the same movie we're watching. Like, if you watch uh, Ninja with Scott Adkins, it yeah. feels like one of those, like, ugh, You movies. disappointed Michael Ann. Exactly. Yeah. And it's, like, it's always the same story about this white ninja dude. I think Ninja Assassin almost got away with it. It's still not a great movie. But it's, at least they the, do the a lot lead, of weird things. So many weird. And yeah. such a reliance on CGI that it gets, like, annoying. It's such a dark, like, the the, 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 the way the, it's shot, dark yeah. movie. You can't see half of the Shit, stuff that yeah. they're doing. And then you look at the behind-the-scenes yeah, stuff. Yeah, and it's so good. It's and the guy so has, good. And the guy is really trained as well. Like He, he trains, knows how um, to do the yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. K-pop dude, right? Yeah, I think so. And... And I've seen this before as well with Nicolas Lau, I think is his name from Dragon Tiger Gate or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. He the, was in the nunchuck dude. No, oh. no, no. The the main brother, that f- Donnie Yen's brother in that movie. Uh, like the, the other the kick, uh, guy. Yeah, the kick guy that yeah, jumps and right. does a spin, spin kick over a full ooh, table. That's such a cool and oof, it's that scene and that's yeah. like real yeah like they didn't trick film it they didn't do anything no he just does that's uh, a movie we jumping need to watch again backs like he, he spins around over a table and does a back kick yeah and it's, it's perfect perfect and Blend. he's a singer yeah. Yeah. with no martial arts background he trained with jackie chan in some movie before that like a super cop five or something and then he was like okay i'm gonna start with donnie yen this time and be awesome and it is such a cool and it, movie. Uh, Nicolas Tse, maybe. That's his name. Not Lao. Nicolas Tse. Andy Lao is the Lao. So never mind. But Nicolas Tse does an awesome job in that movie. And when you like, oh, who's this martial artist? He's not. Yeah. Or he became one. Uh, so with the right people and, you know, the right training, you can do a lot of cool shit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so... And, and that's stuff that kind of makes me happy. That that the when people put the effort in, there's a passion behind not just making a movie. Like if someone told, like asked me to make a Star Wars movie, probably wouldn't do it. You know, unless yeah. you know that was my well, only of shot. Of course you would, because you want that money. Yeah, yeah, but, but I just mean like I would invest time in becoming, you know, like investing in the lore, finding yeah. the the. It doesn't feel like people are doing it. You know what I mean? No. They're taking the easy way out or yeah. maybe, I don't know. It feels like uh, there's a lot of ego involved and they want to yeah. make their own thing, which means that they're pushing aside what came before. But the best thing of in, is, in, yeah, like, incorporating yeah. like the lore. You have so much work Because from. it is a part of the universe. So yeah. you, why do your own thing and not like yeah. make it in this universe and then do your own thing with it. Yeah. Like, and, 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 and the thing is just because you use something that's there doesn't mean that it's not going to be your thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it only helps the, the universe and the lore become stronger. Like yeah. it becomes more believable because it is like, Oh, this happens because you know, these characters like, a bazillion years ago, yeah. Darth Vader did this, or you know, someone did that. So you have a Re- reasoning. Yeah, there's a believable- repercussions from what they did back yeah. then that's still echoing now, where this movie takes place. And, and that is the coolest. Yeah, because uh, that's all you need. Yeah, you don't need to recreate a scene from yeah. another movie. You don't have to do a, like a Force Awakens where you just sort of remake what came before it. Yeah. Even though that works, that it's, works it's in that movie, great, it fucking great works. Movie. Great, yeah, it does everything perfectly. It it just 
makes a new thing but still appeals to the old fans like uh, for it, me that was the bridge f- between what happened back then and you know new fans basically yeah, yeah. just like okay well this is th- uh, what they experienced back letter. then exactly yeah, yeah. too so I, I don't know i buy it it's like thor love and thunder that we've talked about yeah it's such a like it isn't like it is part of marvel you know that whole thing because you have the characters yeah but that's it it's something different, yeah. yeah. And the the more I guess you can live your life thinking like that, a lot like entertainment's gonna be a lot more fun. Exactly. Like stop giving a fuck. Mm, yes, I th- I think you need to stop giving a fuck. You know, because that, that is the biggest problem today. I would yeah. say that everybody gives a fuck. Yeah, and too many fucks are given. Yeah. And when the too many fucks are given and get a social backing. Like these companies are backing up, you know yeah, what I mean? They're yeah. changing their passion project into something that they think someone, like everyone will like. And that's why it's going to be so interesting to see how the rings of power are going to, like how that's going to go. Yeah. Because the fans are so angry. <laughs> it's insane how much hate oh this thing God, is getting. I don't care. And it's like, just really like, just recently got a full trailer. <laughs> like, it's insane. And it's a billion dollars. Damn. One billion dollars to make the show. That's so much money. You could have saved yeah. an entire country <laughs> yeah. with that amount of money. And now everyone that sort of wanted to see the show is hating on it. It's so sad. Yeah, this is the world is. we're living in now. Yeah, yeah. And this is Rob after like four beers. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but something that is that I enjoy about the old movies is that not saying that they were better, just saying that the mindset was different. Remember when I, people were like, oh, I'm into horror and comedies or mm-hmm. or I'm into action movies. Yeah. No, I, I, like dramas are good, but I prefer comedies in action or action comedies, you know, or I prefer this and that. Yeah. Now people are so invested in the one thing. Uh, like I remember growing up, I jumped, I watched everything. Yeah. Like I, I used to watch all movies. of it. Movies. Just, I was Period. just fascinated. Like that was, that was it. We just yeah. wanted to see more and more and more movies. Yeah. It didn't matter if it was the cheesiest drama that you could ever see or no. like rom-coms or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, dude. They were all great. They were all great. Yeah. yeah. I, I didn't care. Like I loved comedies. I, I love chick flicks, yeah. you know, within I mean, quotation we, marks. We watched movies. Scarface <laughs> one day and then uh, 10 Things I Hate About You dude, the other yes. day. You know, it yeah. was just like one awesome movie and then another awesome movie, yeah. but a totally different world and dude and know. those movies they're freddie prince jr like she's all that and <laughs> oh, all man. those like high yeah. school movies oh man those were the marvel movies of the like late 90s and oh, early yes. 2000s you know they were just like boop, boop, popping up all the fucking time yeah like so fucking many of them and again that was like just never been entire, kissed yeah. never our entire started, childhood yeah. or like teenage, teenage years, years yeah. like oh this is how you date or this is how yeah, exactly you could just relate to these movies and exactly. such a like dude where's my car you know like one of those movies that yeah just stand the test us. of time yeah, yeah. <laughs> again no and then and then <laughs> and, oh, then, and then and then yeah yeah uh but I don't know. They're still going back and watching these really stupid 90s, 80s action movies. They're just always going to be good, Mm. even if they're really, really bad. But one that I feel isn't bad is like, we've talked about it on this show, is The Last Boy Scout. Dude. But I mean, that is... That is uh, like action movie perfection. Yeah, it is. It holds up to this day. It's such a perfect movie. Yeah, in every the act, single way. Even the acting holds up, you know, yeah. enough for it to work compared to like this movie that I really enjoyed. Yeah. But The Last Boy Scout, like, it's just good. Yeah. The and, timing with everything in that movie is just perfect. Yeah. And it is written in a way where even the weird things that they do say is part of that universe. 
So you know what I mean? Like you believe it because it's part of the way that they've made the movie. It's yeah. it's a wine liner type of movie. You yeah, know? It, it has is. a lot of There's one a liners, lot, of, lot them. of them. Yeah. I mean, it's a Shane Black movie. Yeah, so. but, but it, it's just like it, it really still works today. And I, yeah. I'm so happy because that's also like one of the m- movies that I remember most fondly in this like category of movies, you know. Like the Another one genre. that we need to watch. It's a little bit of a later movie, but mm-hmm. yeah, the Boondock Saints. We've been talking about it. Oh, forever. but I think Boondock Saints, like, sure, it came later, but, but I still feel like it same. still captured because it wasn't made for mainstream you know no. like it wasn't it was a passion project for it kind s- of felt like you know the the beginning of the end for for that, that genre yeah that action movie yeah because you know? after a while remember when like john travolta stallone came up with like they were just spewing at movies nobody wanted to see yeah like all these like former like stars we're just throwing out like Angelo's Revenge, <laughs> and it, I think that's a Travolta one. Uh, but it was just like, just nonsense movies. You know, they weren't even like yeah, worth but that, watching. That, that was pretty I much th- after the yeah, Boondock think, Saints. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think so. They're ju- they were just trying to kind of like guess what year Boondock Saints? Boondock Saints ninety four. You sure? Ninety seven. You sure? No. Ninety nine. Fuck again! That the fucking Matrix year, man. year, yeah. That's where it all ended. <laughs> that was like the best year for movies, and Fuck. then after that, it did just the like, Matrix and Boondock Saints come out at the same fucking time? I know how. How is how that How did possible? everything come out? The trench coats, man. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Insane. Yeah, I, Saints, yeah. I uh, would have probably guessed ninety four, ninety five. Yeah, yeah maybe I haven't 96? seen Boondock Saints since. Since yeah. Like, it, watch that, like, a psycho with everyone and alone, like, in between watching it with others. Yeah. So many times. You introduced it to me, fell in love with it, got it, rewatched it way too many times. Yeah, I rented it. And when it. I say you got it, I rented it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> because it wasn't anywhere, and you couldn't yeah. copy the DVD well, or you whatever. You could with yeah, a double VCR. Yeah, yeah. Had a friend. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, uh Yeah. I think I rented it for three days and mm. I saw it like seven times. Yeah, just insane amounts of time. It was, yeah, I just had it going over and over and over every mm. fucking day. But I don't, I don't feel like people watch movies. Now, now shows are a bit more of that type of consumption that we used to have with movies. Yeah. But movies cost nothing to rent back then, you know, like you could rent the movie and not feel bad. Yeah. Like you, you only rent, rented like, for one day. You like rented like seven movies. Yeah, for the price of like. Yeah. yeah, and it was always like if you rented this many movies, you could rent or have them for, for these several many days. days. Yeah, yeah. And also, I think like the movies that weren't just released, you could rent. They were way cheaper. Yeah, remember yeah, yeah. they cost nothing. Yeah, like I remember this place called Daniel's Video. That just like it was this new little store that didn't look like a store at all. Like it looked like a fucking I don't know, like a hole in the wall. Yeah. But they had walls and walls and walls of movies. Like they had, you know, like the the new shit, but they had rows and rows of like everything. That's where I watched like crawl and everything. Like they cost I think like ten crowns mm-hmm. per movie, the old ones. That's a buck. Yeah, that's a buck. And you could, like, you just, like, you, you got together with a couple of friends and you rented, like, a fucking, you know, like, like five to ten movies. And you just watched all of and them. And you watched all of them. like on In one sitting. Yeah, it was insane. Just back to back. Yeah. Just Fuck boop, boop. sleep. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. But sometimes we just, we just, like, we rented, like, Hellraiser 1 to 5 or 4, you know. Yeah. And, and we rented, binged. like, whatever else was, like, a, oh, we'll watch... All the Adam Sandler movies, and you just rented all the Adam Sandler movies that were out, or yeah. like whatever. And that was also a cool thing where you could yeah. go in and you go, uh, "Today I'm just gonna, we're gonna do a Brad Pitt marathon." Yeah, yeah. And you just Dude, went did that in and did all the time, or whatever. It or was just such a, like I remember when you rented movies because you can watch the trailers. You just went in like this cover is cool, this cover is yeah. cool, and you actually read the back of the movie. You sometimes. fucking read the back of the movies sometimes. Well, yeah, no, nah, 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 like nah. covers went. The images like, on the back, obviously. Yeah. Images on the back and covers. Like yeah. that was the, the the biggest sort of 
selling point for me. Yeah. I did read the back because sometimes it was so dumb. Yeah. That you had to read it. Uh, but I don't know, man. Like there was something about just loving movies. Yeah. You know, like. That is gone now. Yeah, but it is gone. I think it's a lot of that you know how it's done a little, you know. And that's what I, what I loved about this movie. I was like, how the fuck did they put together all the scenes where they act towards each other, mm-hmm. but they're like, but it looks good, you know, like when he's yeah. standing and he's sitting on the couch and they're in the same room, yeah. And it's just this great scene, and it works. Like it's like fucking movie magic at its best, you know. They weren't yeah. like computer and it's, graphics. It's Van Damme. Yeah. Like, how is he even? <laughs> Putting this doing thing. this yeah. <laughs> he nah, is actually acting in some of these scenes it's nah, insane. i don't know no, he's don't delivering know lines he's delivering yeah. lines but with different personas you know personalities and stuff so that, that was, is that is yeah, acting yeah that is like acting you have to for, give credit where credits do and yeah. this one is really i think mm-hmm. the start of the decline also <laughs> of yeah the cocaine cowboy mm-hmm. uh, mr van damme but yeah shit yeah Very much so. But I would really recommend everyone to like go back and watch this movie, Double Impact, or just go back and watch some movies that shaped you as a, you know, like a creative, I guess, and not so much maybe in drawing unless you have like some, because, because watching like for me, watching all the Disney movies doesn't do it for me because they've been there all the time. Yeah. But and, and they're timeless in their own way. They are. They it are. It doesn't feel I was like a bit disappointed watching The Lion King for the first time in forever, you know. Oh, the, the cartoon. Yeah, the cartoon. Because everything was so... Or 95. 95. But it was so... Like, the backgrounds and everything, there's nothing there. Like, they're so flat. But it's hand animated. I know, and that's why you did that. (laughs) But I just got in, and in my head, you know how everything gets updated? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you you go back, and... We're spoiled fucks now. Of course, and that was what happened to me watching The Lion King. Now I can watch it again without thinking about it too much, but it's still, like, it feels so flat in some scenes, like... And it is fucking dry desert and shit, Yeah, you know, like, in some parts. Big, empty landscapes. Yeah, yeah. but I just like it hit me so hard how much my brain like updates the graphics or you know like yeah. the, the quality of movies and stuff like even watching Double Impact now I was like huh this is <laughs> what it looked like yeah because in my head it's like high definition 4k you know like it really has <laughs> really it, no, no no but my brain just like the way that I remember is clear yeah and then you go back and you're like oh yeah it was kind of you know not as clear as I, I still like the, the, like the VHS aesthetic, but it's still like my brain does a lot to these memories. Yeah. Or like it really enhances them. No, but for me, the, the grain and the dirtiness nah, of the movie course, yeah. is really, that's a time capsule in itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course Because it is. it is such like, for me, that's what a movie is supposed to look like. And I want all the movies to mm-hmm. look like that. Of course, now you have the Ultra K, whatever, fucking, you know, super high definition, you know, somebody... Yeah, that's the word for splash, it, super high definition. Super high definition. Somebody splashes something and you get, you know, semen in your face or whatever. No, no, no. You, you can know. go into Matt Damon's pores, like, oh, yeah. through the, from the screen. I mean, you can do that on a VHS, but... Um, Ew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, it's just so... Everything is so over the top now, and yeah. back then it was just a little bit simpler and easier, which made more room for better. Well, I wouldn't say better stories, but no. easier stories. Yeah, you know they did Dumber. what they could. Yeah, and and that's what made them so good. Yeah, that you didn't overthink everything. It was just like, well, this is entertaining. Let's just go with it. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a one and a half hour movie. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, and and I think with that reasoning, like. They, they 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 got lucky, you know, yeah. every now and then. But now movies cost, you know, like a hundred million dollars yeah. for just the CGI part, you know. Yeah, and back then and, it was like between two yeah. and ten. Yeah. Maybe fifteen. <laughs> uh, so so I guess movies have gotten like more complex and expensive. But I, but but that's why I, I kind of like I wish there was or there is this category. It's just not as available to us. But I would like to see, you know, more of homemade ninja movies like 
just to throw something out yeah. there. Yeah. Well, like probably, nobody, for example. Nobody is a. It's one like, of those. I don't perfect. know what that one costs to make either. No, like, I'm I'm sure it's like it's probably a, a, a quadril- quadrillion times more than, than double impact. Double impact, but, it, but it's double still, impact wasn't cheap though. So no, I mean like it, all in all, like sure it's Hollywood cheap, but it wasn't cheap. I'm I'm guessing like the big explosions and all of that stuff is what mm. costs money. Yeah. But when you think of how easy the movie is, mm. like there's only maybe three sets yeah. in the entire movie. There's the bus, there's the home, and there's the office. Mm. Like that. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. that's it. Uh, and the club. I guess. Yeah, yeah. That's it. And then blow some stuff up. Mm. You know, that shouldn't cost all that much. Then you just get some really, one really good actor and then a lot of people to kill. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, uh, but I'm with good. you there. And I think, like, I don't even need explosions in the movie. You know no. what I mean? Like, I really don't. Velocity pastor it, you know? Just, <laughs> just, no. just write the text. <laughs> no. <laughs> Explosion no. here. <laughs> but for example, like, the explosion that happens in this movie, it's yeah. as explosive everywhere. They're shooting. It's all fine. And... And then you know, like yeah, the electri- the electricity kind of sets the 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 whatever liquid on fire. Oh yeah, and and Van Dam jumps and like, why did this scene exist? Because you know, there was never that. Sense we need of a day. jumping scene here. But that was exactly yeah. what I felt like. It was like, oh, but we forgot to have this jumping explosion scene that makes no sense or needs to be there at all. Yeah. Uh, and you like that's another thing that they could have saved money on, you know. And I, I think you could make some really interesting concepts and movies that wouldn't cost you. Like they they wouldn't need like a millions and millions as a budget to to kind of make them a reality. And it's just I I don't know. Like it feels like all the stories are so complex and just like they require that crazy budget. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's like the, the new Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Like, like this, what? Why? Yeah, how? Yeah. Why? Like, what, Why this? Why this? Do you, does everybody that worked on uh, that movie get a million dollars? Is that, is that how it works? Yeah. Though? I don't know. I, I, I don't even want to know what that show is costing to make. And and it all feels like a just CGI. Like yeah. that's all I'm seeing when I watch the trailer. I'm like, CGI. They're sitting at a CGI table, CGIing each other. Yeah. <laughs> just like, and, and I I don't know. Like I'm not interested. I, I I'm I'm starting to lean. I'm hoping that there's a return of these smaller movies, and that they get like let's say that Netflix actually bought some of them mm-hmm. and promoted them, like. There must be someone out there making any, and if you know someone, please write to us, like on, you know, the Instagram Discord. or yeah. yeah, Discord. And if you have cool movies that were shot on a smaller budget, and, and not like fifty million, you know, like I'm talking about, like a let's say ten million and below, I yeah. guess is a small budget nowadays. And but just n- none of the Scott Atkins movies because, because we've seen them. Yeah, and, we've seen them. Yeah. <laughs> No, but it would just be interesting to see something, and, and preferably something that's, you know, like it, the movie doesn't have to be perfect. The story doesn't have to be the best. But I, I'm thinking like the potential. Yeah. Because sometimes I like the way they did something. Like Jumper mm-hmm. had a, like, it's not a great movie. But it's a good premise. But it's a yeah. good premise. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I kind of like where that's, like, being able to do all that shit would be cool. Yeah. Uh, So would love to kind of like start watching something different because I'm tired of all these, like they think we want more CGI, like bombastic CGI things that doesn't even work. Look at the Mandalorian. I think that it's one of the best examples of modern day good uh, viewing Yeah, because they, instead of going extremely CG with everything, they make even the CG stuff practical on set Mm -hmm. with that big screen to to get the actors. Like that works really good and that's probably really expensive. Yeah. And they've really gone back to the easier storytelling uh, ways of the 90s, 80s, 90s sort of shows and movies. 
that's why it works so well. Mm. I, I guess that's why we connect with it, mm. you know, or at least I do. But that's why I, I love Double Impact as well, yeah. you know, like the practical, the squibs, the... You know, like all the the wounds and shit. Yeah, they were great. They were fucking great. Like, and so much more brutal than I remembered yes. any of it being. Like, like they very. <laughs> yeah, like the mom had like this big hole in her head. Yeah, and, her head. Like, and yeah, the, it was. It, it was, was just like the dad got shot in the arm and the, like the biggest so... fucking Terminator flesh wound. Yeah, <laughs> it was so it, insane. It was bad. Yeah, like, definitely needs. But it looked shot good. That. <laughs> I, I guess the arm one looked a bit wonky because it was such not a at all. I big loved weird, it. but because it was a fucking shotgun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. to his arm. Of course, but it, 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 it was good. Like I, I really liked the practical <laughs> effects and everything. The blood was a bit more red than you would yeah. <laughs> like but it, it it no but it doesn't Corn matter syrup. like it was fun yeah like it was fun like it it's a bit over the top good you know like yeah. like it should be in a movie like this i guess exactly so i would like to see more of this kind of return cuz i'm guessing practical effects isn't a cheap thing either like no it's probably that's why you make like digital blood nowadays and shit like that less to clean less to but it sucks. Yeah. Yeah. You just immediately see that it's CG. Oh, so bad. Yeah. I don't know. Like, it doesn't have the weight it should. No. They, they they get like, oh, we should do this in slow motion. And then you really see that it's fake. Uh, and I think, I guess Deadpool is the one that does it fairly okay yeah. at times. I mean, you like, can still see the you CG You can see stuff. it, but it's like, I, I feel like they, 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 the timing, I guess, that they like, they go from like slow motion to speed and then speed yeah. it up they or don't just, rely on it yeah. they don't like really force it in they just use it whenever they really needed it yeah. like the eyes of Deadpool yeah. like having them just emote a little yeah, bit yeah, it's yeah. so slight it's but so it good, just though. makes like, you everything you can't have him without no. the, like the emoting like it's, it's, it's perfect to, yeah 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 but I think what they do in Deadpool, just to wrap this up as well, is what they do in Mandalorian. Yeah. Like they manage to, you know, even with a mask, they're selling it. Yeah. With the talk and the, the mannerisms. Because I was like, how are they going to like humanize Mando, you know, in a way that you care? It's just and good you, writing. It is good. And then really having good. an actor being able to sell it just verbally. Yeah. Like no, no, just really audibly. Good. With the slight tone and shift, yeah. you know, it's uh, it's really impressive, really. Mm. Really, really. Really, really. Really, really, really. It reminds me of, like, the, the old Batman cartoon again no! with the white eyes. There is no. No, I was just like, it has the <laughs> yes. same thing. Like, it yeah. just emotes really well. The animated series, yeah. for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still want to see that, but. It's really good. Well, really good. It still holds up, I yeah. would say. It's, uh, it's a great show. So if anything, but, go yeah. watch that. But yeah, go back, watch some old stuff. Do it. Uh, and also, uh, utilize the Discord to, like on the episode discussion, post some old classics. Yeah. Like, give, give us each other tips. Yeah, something that, okay, let's do it like this. So it doesn't get like one person like just shares his fucking childhood with us. No. Uh, one everyone <laughs> gets to pick one thing that impacted them that, yeah, Something that had like a big impact on you, preferably not a like. Let's say not Disney movies. Like even if they did impact you, we've all seen them. They're fuck. <laughs> they they've impacted all of us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it would be nice if it was something else. Yes. Because uh, we all remember the Disney classics as well, so it would be fun to just get something else. Yeah, yeah. No Disney, no Pixar. Yeah, exactly. Pixar doesn't even count. It's too new. Yeah. Unless you're really young, then it counts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but exactly. Yeah, we would love to know what, like, movies impacted you. What was your favorite action yeah. movie? Or like, whatever. And if movie. you were, like, born in the 90s and maybe even the 2000s, like, what was your go-to yeah, action Yeah, what the movies? hell was your go-to? Yeah. I and, know what and, my kids are, like, the 2010 and beyond. Yeah. But before that... Yeah, well, uh, was there anything before? Who knows? No. No. Big trouble, little China. Yep. All the way. All the way. And then, yeah. yeah. And then there was nothing. Yeah. Thank you guys for listening. Sorry for the short summer special episodes. Uh, and also for, yeah, reasons. Uh, of course. <laughs> no, we saw a movie. We talked about it. And you got to hear it. So, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it works. <laughs> 
yeah, until we get paid for this, this is what you get. (laughs) (laughs) Sean Clark, any words? I don't know how to respond to that. But you did respond. You're welcome. That's our catchphrase. And also, he thought I said, (laughs) fuck any words. What's with him and all the, the, what's it called? Cussing. Cussing, yeah. Yeah, Sean Clark, why are you cussing? Profanity is the word I was looking for. Damn you, Sean Clark. But now I think I I know how to control him. Sean Clark. No. (laughs) He didn't fall for it. He didn't fall for it. You need to say fuck. That's when he reacts. He's like, I can't respond to that because you... Sean Clark, come on. No, no. Okay, let's wrap this up in the best, I guess, double impact way that we can. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, it is. Spoiler alert. Like, yeah, not spoiler. (laughs) Whoa, Sean Clark, do it. Oh, fuck, he just... Yeah. He actually turned on and then he dissed me. I think when you say Sean Clark... He, he hears fuck. Fuck. So he's like, no. Sean, Sean yeah. fuck. <laughs> I'm not going to respond to that, Ilias, because. Oh, well. Yeah. Thank you for tuning in. We love you. No. No. no just yeah. kind of dead. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye.